Hi everybody, this is Lonnie. Uh, today we're going to um, go over some of the adjustments that you can make to your machine. Um, we all should have done these adjustments when we got our machine, um, but you know how it is. You just wanted to get it out and you wanted to do some stuff with it, so you may have overlooked some of these. Um, on We Create's official site, they have videos there if, if you uh, need to look at those, um, but sometimes looking at a video from two separate people gives you a better perspective as to what it is. Um, in your box with your machine came these parts. You have this little Allen wrench, you have a level, and you have a screwdriver. Um, we're going to go ahead and show you some stuff on the machine. It's imperative that the machine be turned off. Do not have it turned on when you're doing it. You can mess some things up. You go ahead and raise the lid. You make sure you raise it up high enough so they don't fall. Break your finger. Okay. We're going to take this level and we're going to start the front corner. We'll do it here. Back corner. Back corner. And front corner. And on this level, there's lines. You want that bubble to show up in between the lines. If perchance it doesn't, that screwdriver they gave you is nice and long. You've already got the um, machine in the up position. You can use this whether it's up or down. But if you look inside the machine, uh, you see the, the screw rods on all four corners. And at the top of those screw rods, there's a flat tip screwdriver bit. You can put your screwdriver in it, and then you can just turn it and watch it adjust this bubble. And you get that bubble in the middle, and you're done. Again, it's not this one here on top. It's the ones that are actually on top of the screws that go up and down. Okay. That's how you adjust it for level. Now, the next thing um, is the x-axis. I'm going to have to move the camera for that. Okay, this is how we adjust the x-axis. If you look on the machine, again, it's it's powered off. You can This bar here slides forward and back. If you look on the side of this bar, there's a carrier, and the carrier has a notch in it. I've highlighted mine in a bronze marker so that you can see where it is. Uh, there's one of these notches on both sides of the carrier. Toward the back of the machine, there's a hole. I've put an arrow pointing down to the hole, and then I've highlighted the hole in bronze so that you can see it. This x-axis, when this is pushed all the way to the back, see how they line up? that bolt hole is in that notch okay and that is the same thing on both sides there's the hole there's the notch they line up now if they don't line up what you're going to do let me put the camera back up here On this motor, there's a coupler and then a rod that comes out of it. On that coupler, there's two sets of holes. The ones closest to the motor do not mess with those. The ones closest to the motor don't mess with. It's these ones on the outside over here that you, you need to do. Now what you would do is if you need to adjust that axis, you take this Allen wrench, you loosen that up. You move it just a little bit, and you'll be able to get to the other one. And loosen it up. Then you take and you push your carrier back till those line up. That one lines up. That one lines up. And now I'll tighten this screw down. Once that screw's tightened down, I'm just going to rotate it just mainly by hand to get to the other one. And then I'm going to tighten it up. Okay. That's how you adjust the x-axis. Really easy. Now what you want to do, after you do that, you're going to run the camera cal calibration. Um, make sure everything's lined up perfectly good. And then any offsets of things being wrong and noises they're making, hopefully that takes care of it. Comment, 
like, share, and follow, along with all the other videos I did. I hope that helps too.